and they are racing at Turfway. The favorite broke well, but it is ready to charm in Periutes, who has the most speed. La P. Storm will have to sit off her from second. Up on the outside, Jill's Passion came away racing in third. Down along the inside, Aunt Irene and Jimenez is fourth, just about a couple lengths off those leaders as they head to the far turn. Appealing Julie is next. She's flanked up to the outside by Jazz Brunt, still a couple lengths for the back to Weightlessness and Magna G-Force out at the back of the pack, midpoint through the turn. Ready to charm, chased intently by La P. Storm. The two favorites are in match race mode outside the quarter pole, and they've quickened six links better than Jill's Passion as they race towards the top of the home stretch, and here comes Loppy Storm at three for five, trying to put away Ready to Charm. Up to the outside, Jazz Brunches full of run to the inside, now switching off cover Anti-Rain just outside the 16th pole, and Loppy Storm is running up the score. The lead is three, now it's four, and Loppy Storm, the people's pick for Ravelli and Corrales, are going to win the opener by almost four in the end. Jazz Brunch was second, it got tight for third, either appealing Julie or a Magna the G-Force. And they are racing. Ashwin's Orb stumbled at to start a gate unseat of the rider. World of Fools sending on out for the lead. Also, a Smoky Lee jumped well from between horses. Blow to co-whistle. Then from the backfield, it comes a slim, slow rider from between horses. Debuting drop in G's is advancing midpoint down the back stretch. Couple links further back to Overthought. Still two back to Uptown Guy. And Meet the Ball is at the back of the pack. Into the far turn, chasing World of Fools, who shows the way to the inside. Blow to Cole Whistle. Three wide comes dropping G's on debut, is full to run. In between horses, slim, slow slider. Then we trail back about two and a half links back to Smokey Lee. Overthought is uh, making progress from the backfield as he took the quarter 22 and 2. Here comes dropping G's up and after pace setting World of Fools. Slim, slow slider is going to get a rail run top of the home stretch. And dropping G's comes to tackle World of Fools. Slim, slow. Slider is under a vigorous uh, heavy ride down on the inside. These three across the course with a 16th to go. And World of Fools is coming back. Stablemate Slim Slow Slider got through along the fence. And Slim Slow Slider with the blinkers off is going to break Maiden on the class drop and stop the timer in 110 and 2. She's in. They are at the post. And they are racing. Good start for Nata Benny, Lilac Girl, Weiner Seller, also Halaga and Esprey. These are five sitting on out for the lead. And Kyra came away racing six right alongside Lovely June. Fonsa Grive is racing eighth, about a length in front of On the Rise. Then comes Closet Shopper as they head up the backside. HT Zena is last of them all. They pass the half-mile pole. Halaga shows the way. Weiner Seller on the attack to the outside. Here's Espere who moves a closer third. Then about three lengths for the back, the heavy favorite, Lilac Girl, is fourth. Down on the inside, Nata Biddy is next. Now, and Kyra is on the move. The Gray has raced up with about seven lengths of the lead. Quarter 22-1 and one as they approach the top of the home stretch. And here comes Lilac Girl with a big wide sweeping move. And the Augustan Stable Silks, and here she comes to make it four across the course. Half mile, 45 and one. And Lilac Girl, the daughter of Quality Road, assumes command top of the home stretch. Put in tight there at the top of the lane was Weiner Seller, but with a 16th left to go. Lilac Girl has built up a three-length cushion. Not to Benny off the shelf with a good effort to race up into second, but nobody's getting to Lilac Girl. Makes her synthetic debut a winning one. She breaks her maiden in 109 and 3. And they are Racing. Good start for all. The quickest was for last train to Boston, who barrels on out. Also, Yankee Mischief is fleet-footed away from the gate. Up to the outside, Pro Bono came away racing in third. Candy Curl fourth. Thirsty Gal close up fifth as they head up the backside. Chasing last train to Boston, who's built up a three-and-a-half length lead. Yankee Mischief will track from second. Out in the clear, Pro Bono third. Candy Curl in between horses from fourth. Thirsty Owls in a tight spot from fifth. Still a couple lengths further back to Rogue Leader and Sonic Burn at the back of the pack. They continue to run up the back 
backside, and they head into the far turn. About 15 lengths from top to bottom, and last train to Boston. Shows the way by two. Here's Yankee Mischief, who comes to attack from the outside second. Pro Bono's been parked every yard from third. Thirsty Alice, keen to go on, nowhere to go. Candy Curl running on from the back. Then comes Rogue Leader, who's being asked to quicken, rounding the turn, and Yankee Mischief. The son of Can the Man takes over, but the whip is out as he drifts to the three path up the inside. Thirsty Al has some clean racetrack to come on through. Here comes a Thirsty Al up and after the lead. On the outside, it's still uh, last train to Boston, and they're inside the final furlong. Yankee Mischief still trying to put away Thirsty Al, who's lunging up the fence. Thirsty Al is uh, edging clear now, and Thirsty Al is going to win by a half a length. Good effort from Yankee Mischief to be second. Then it was either Rogue Leader or Candy Curl for the Shoto in 117 and one. And they are racing rocket beginning for Call Me Penny, who broke like a shot, debuting Storm Kiss, flashing speed. There goes Beautiful Empire up the inside, forwardly placed as well. Lady Livermore off the gate, racing in the fourth position. Mint Leaf is a close-up fifth. Up early, races to the outside of a Ball Gown as they head up the backside. Still two back to uh, another flat drunk, who is second last in Cuban at the back of the pack. Up the backside, they approach the three-and-a-half furlong marker. And Storm Kiss has made the front end. The daughter of Quality Road goes in the turn with a length lead. A beautiful Empire is on the move to the outside in second. Lady Livermore's third. A ball Gown is fourth. Then comes Call me Penny, who broke sharp. She's back into fifth and being uh, ridden with the whip from the backfield. Dalton's Love is on the move. She's in about the four or five path, but closing in as they're chasing Storm Kiss, who goes by the quarter pole. And her lead is now uh, down to about a nose as Beautiful Empire floats out to the four path. She's on the attack to the outside. These two match race mode about four or five lengths clear of the others with a furlong to go. And Storm Kiss is trying to hold Beautiful Empire, but she's going right on by by the 16th pole. And Beautiful Empire, another win for Mark Cassian on the night. Beautiful Empire punched home by almost three in the end. Storm Kiss was second half a dozen links back to Blustering and Cubon who photoed for the Shoto. Running time quick, 109 and three. And they are Racing, ginormous broken a tangle, and she is last. Betha Barr is first on the run to the first turn. Smoking Hot Bobby, Lady Leah, these three lead the charge into the first turn. Red Hot Katie trying to work her way over from that to nine a stall. Has uh, raced up in about the two path while fourth. Dance the Day Away is next. She's fifth early. A length in front of Moonlight Rain, who's right alongside our closure as they turn up the backside. They are sixth and seventh at about nine lengths off the lead behind a quarter, 24 seconds flat. Then a margin of two back to Princess Athena as they head up the backside. And after that slow beginning, Ginormous has a lot of ground to make up with four and a half furlongs to go. Up the backside. Chasing Lady Leah and Smoking Hot Bobby. They race as a pair, two links in front of Betha Barra, who's to the inside of Red Hot Katie. They are third and fourth and three clear of Dance the Day Away, who's raced up into fifth within striking range behind a half, 47 seconds flat. Into the far turn, Lady Leah takes over from Smoking Hot Bobby. Up on the extreme outside, here comes Dance the Day Away, a seven-time synthetic winner moving well on the far turn run, and right on her back is our closure as well. From between horses, Betha Barra, Pink Silk. She's within striking range. She's going to get a split here in between Lady Leah and Dance the Day Away, top of the home stretch. And Lady Leah has to deal with Betha Barra. And down the center of the track, here comes Moonlight Rain, who's kicked out for clear racing outside the furlong ground. Dance the day away, has the lead. Betha Barra still fighting on from between horses as they race in deep stretch. Here comes uh, our closure correction in the inside. Moonlight Rain got through. Moonlight Rain splitting horses. Late gets up to win narrowly over Dance the day away. Our closure was next. The running time, 138 flat. Field all set. The start from Caleb Hayes. And they are racing at Turfway. Peter's kitten from that outside saw flashing speed. Salty as can be. And Auntie Mabel also forwardly plays from between horses. Lucy's cakes fly. Those four lead the charge into the opening turn. 
and it is salty as can be. The daughter of Into Mischief shows the way long shot anti Mabel applies the heat to the outside. Empress Eleanor in really tight down on the inside, hard held from third. Lucy's Cakes fly to the outside in the clear fourth. I hear you is fifth at about three and a half off the pace. Then comes Peter's Kitten. That's the first six as they start to cluster up as they turn up the backside. Then Fate of Ophelia races along in the seventh position. Two in front of Dance Warrior, who is eighth. Then comes Edgy Angel is ninth, and Forever Boss is tenth and trailing. That's the ten of them. After a quarter of 24 seconds flat, they approach the four and a half furlong marker. The leader, long shot, Auntie Mabel, shows the way as she toes, salty as can be from second. Lucy's Cakes fly from third. Down on the inside, Empress Eleanor still sequestered from fourth. Out in the clear, Peter's Kitten fifth. Then comes I Hear You. Now on the move, there goes Fate of Ophelia. The dollar Curlin has raced up within seven lengths of the leaders, half mile 48 and two, and salty as can be, back up and after the lead. Auntie Mabel still there. Three wide comes Lucy's Cakes Fly. Two links for the back. I hear you as being hard shoved to come after that trio of leaders, and here she comes on her back forever, boss. Top of a home stretch. Auntie Mabel will cut the corner. Lucy Cakes fly. It assumes command. Salty as could be fighting on. Meanwhile, Empress Eleanor finally found clear racing room. She's all over the course now to the inside. Out in the clear comes I hear you and forever, boss. One sixteenth left. Here comes forever, boss. After Empress Eleanor. Empress Eleanor from Fate of Ophelia. Photo. Photo finish, Empress Eleanor and Fate of Ophelia. Those two in a head bobber, 143 and 4. Field of 10 off and running. Poor start for Super Necessary. Quick one for Jackpot Winner, who's hustled on out to the offensive. Code clear with a couple whip tap urges away in good order now. Vera Carell has angled off the front runner to be forwardly placed as well. Eli came away racing in fourth out wide, advancing buckshot run fifth. Born to race, racing away sixth early. Aftermath, the favorite against the fence, has about nine or ten links to make up. Lester's Dream with a wide angle on the first turn run. Then comes Toe and at the back of the pack after the slow start, Super Necessary is last of them all. They walk the quarter 25-1. and one. Jackpot winner shows the way. Veru Carroll to the outside, racing in second. I looked at that for the back code, clear third. Then a margin of four links back to Eli, who races down along the inside as they continue to run up the backside. Right alongside of that one as they continue to race is Buckshot Run. Now, Lester's Dream is underway. Lester's Dream has raced up into fifth, six links off the pace. Half mile controlled, 49 and two. Jackpot winner shows the way by three parts of a length. Veru Carell to the outside in second. Code clear under the whip from third. Buckshot run, full of run to the inside fourth. Whip comes out on Lester's Dream, who's advanced up into fifth. From the backfield, Eli closing ground. Here comes Eli, and the red shadow roll is going to angle off the front trio, top of the home stretch. Jackpot winner to the inside. In the middle, Veru Carell. Code clear, three wide. And now Eli has been produced to the outside, and here comes Eli with an explosive turn of foot outside the 16th pole and Eli just drawing away with the field here and Eli is in front by three he's under wraps and the 12th the 12th time is going to be the charm Eli breaks maiden by about four and a half it looked like Veru Carell was second then it was buckshot run photograph for fourth 139 and four